Um, so, hey, I had another one, Michael, which is the always a point principle. Always a point. Yeah. What do you mean by always a point? Well, sometimes you get asked, uh, hey, we had uh, someone leave the board and now we have a vacancy. What should we do? And uh, I actually marked time on this one um, with the co-op. It was in 2005 that I said, well, I, this isn't a fully tested idea yet, but my instinct is that you should have an always a point principle. So whenever this happens, you are in a position to uh, point someone to the board. And because I did that funny little thing of marking time, now I can actually say that I've been using the same principle since 2005, and every time it has really been quite successful. So I really recommend it as a good idea. Um, it's taking advantage of what is uh, allowed uh, by your bylaws and, and, and in most cases state law that a board is authorized to in between elections fill seats. And it also calls up the issue of um, having a qualified candidate pool kind of waiting in the wings so that when you have this opportunity you actually already know um, the five people that you would find out see if this was their time. Because that's the thing, it's like when you have a qualified candidate pool, it's not like everyone in that pool is like standing by ready. That maybe though one of them uh, is able to step up and fill the seat. And in my mind, the contrast is um, you want to have a high bar for what it means to be on the board and that you really value uh, the contributions of each individual director. And when you have an image of what that's like, having an empty seat is just so far away from that quality um, that it's really worth saying we value having all of our board seats filled. Um, so always a point, part of what it makes me think of is this uh, uh, hesitation some board leaders have or, or directors have of playing an active role in uh, making sure that the board is strong. And I really have come more convinced over the years that it is our responsibility as leaders of the co-op to make sure that the board itself is strong and that that's not passive, that we actually have to take an active role in that by reaching out to and drawing in qualified candidates, people who could serve our co-op well. Uh, and so if we wait passively while there's a vacancy until the next election, um, that's not leadership. That leadership is actually stepping forward and saying, you know what, there's a space here and it's our job to make sure that, that a qualified person, someone who can serve our co-op well, fills that space. So I really, I really do also yeah. uh, come to it from, a, from that place. Yeah. I think it is somewhat helpful for directors who are on the board to know that there's a qualified candidate pool or there, that the board will call on people uh, when there's an opening. Because uh, from time to time, people are on the board and it's actually not the right fit for them right then. And the best thing for them to do is to step off the board. And that if they can't see that there's a, um, a way, a process, for their seat to be filled, they might actually be inclined to stay on the board when it's actually not the right thing for them to do. So I really like this idea that having a culture where, hey, when that happens, which life happens and sometimes you know, you're too busy or you're distracted and you need to just you know, step aside, that knowing that in fact the organization is still gonna have good leadership in place is helpful. Mm -hmm. Nice, so, I like yeah. it. Thanks, Michael. Thanks.